Hi preschoolers, it's Miss Danny, and I'm back with another zoo phonics letter. This week I have any inchworm, and any inchworm's here to teach you about the letter I. The letter I is a very tall letter, just like she is. And when she moves, of course, she inches along just like an inchworm. She's a rainbow inchworm, though. So, any, let's check out your letter. There's two kinds of eyes. There's the tall capital I, and this is the lowercase I. I wanted to show you this one, too, because this is a, an I. This has a short line and a polka dot on top. So we're going to learn how to make both eyes right now. To remember it, you're going to move your finger like an inchworm, and you're going to say, any inchworm letter I says, eh, eh, eh. Ooh, I didn't know that sound. I hear it a lot. The letter I is a busy letter because it is a vowel. So it not only says, eh, 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 sometimes it says its name. Let's practice again. Any inchworm letter I says, eh. I, I. Good job. Now we're going to practice drawing it here. I'll put any right here. Let's see. There we go. You can kind of see a little antenna there. So to write the letter I, well, first of all, what lines would I use? Well, it looks like in this case, I'm using a little line and a polka dot. If I want to make a capital I, a big I, I'd use a big line, and then I would need two small lines, so we're going to borrow this right here. Okay, I'm going to show you how to write it. Take your pen, start at the top. We're going to go all the way down, and we're going to frog jump back up to make two crisscross stripes. Let's do that again. Start at the top, all the way down, frog jump, crisscross. Let's do it with our fingers. Start at the top, all the way down, frog jump up, criss, cross, just like that. I'm going to show you how to make the lowercase i too because it's such a fun one. You start in the middle, at the top, go down, frog jump up, and make a little polka dot. Isn't that a fun one? I kind of like this letter. All right, so I asked Innie, I said, Innie, what should we do today? And Innie said, you have to read my favorite story about when I got away from that pesky bird. And then you should teach him how to measure. I also have a song and a poem. So get ready. We've got a lot to do today. All right, Indy, let's start with your story. This story is called Inch by Inch. And it's a fun one by Leo Leone. If you look carefully in the picture, you got to use your binocular as you see the inch one. Now on every page, you need to use your eyes to see if you can find it because inchworms are really tiny. Look on the branch. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. You find him? Don't eat me. I'm an inchworm. I'm useful. I measure things. Is that so, said the robin. Then measure my tail. There he is. That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with, the in with that, the inchworm flew to where other birds needed to be measured. Do you see him? The inchworm measured the neck of the flamingo. He measured the toucan's beak. The legs of a heron. Oh, yikes, the tail of a pheasant. and an entire hummingbird. Oh my goodness, look at, the hummingbird must be small because the inchworm almost is the same size. One morning, a nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song. 
Hmm, let's think about that, boys and girls. Can you measure a song? Measure? But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my songs or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Then the inchworm had an idea. Yeah. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Find the inchworm. The nightingale sang and the inchworm measured away. He measured and measured. Oh, I got to use my binocular eyes for this one. Where did that inchworm go? Oh, there he is. Bottom corner. Inch by inch. Oop, where did, oh, there he is by my pinky. Until he inched out of sight. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, that was smart. Do you think he got away from that pesky robin? Or that pesky nightingale? I can see why any wanted us to read that story. She had to move really fast, huh? Well, the next thing I want to do is a poem. And it is about five little inchworms. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And this is how it goes. And you guys get to do it with me. Okay. One little inchworm climbing up a tree. It's hot in the sun and cold in the breeze. When I need a bite to eat, I stop and munch all day. Chomp, 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 chomp. Then I'm on my way. All right, how many now? Two. One, two. Two little inchworms climbing up a tree. It's hot in the sun and cold in the breeze. When I need a bite to eat, I munch all day. Chomp, 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 chomp. Then I'm on my way. How many now? One, two, three. Three little inchworms climbing up a tree. It's hot in the sun and cold in the breeze. When I need a bite to eat, I munch all day. Chomp, 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 and then I'm on my way. All right, here's another one. We're going to put it right here. One, two, three, four. Four little inchworms climbing up a tree. It's hot in the sun and cold in the breeze. When I get hungry, I munch all day. <clears throat> chomp, 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 then I go away. One more. Whoa, this is my whole hand. How many? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five little inchworms climbing up a tree. It's hot in the sun and cold in the breeze. When I get hungry, I munch all day. Chomp, 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 chomp. Then I go away. Good job. All right. I wanted to sh teach you how to measure since this is a song about inches. And one of my favorite ways to measure is using something as simple as a paper clip. Can you see that? A paper clip is what we use to hold papers together. Now you can take paper clips if you have them at home or maybe it's in your parents' office and you can clip them together and make a chain. Now I can use this as a tool to measure things. So if I wanted to measure my pen, oh look, my pen is three paper clips long. If I wanted to measure my inchworm that we were just playing with, I could measure, and my inchworm is two paper clips long. This is a really fun and easy activity to hook paper clips together to make a long chain. You could even see how many paper clips tall you are. 
All right, the last thing I was gonna do is a little poem. Let me pull it up. It's called the Itsy Bitsy Inchworm. The, here, Inny, you come do it with me. The Itsy Bitsy Inchworm inched up the letter I. Down came some ink into the inchworm's eye. Out came the sun to dry up all the ink. And the itsy bitsy inchworm inched up with a wink. Can you show me a wink? Good job. Let's do that again. The itsy, in, the itsy bitsy inchworm inched up the letter I. Down came some ink into the inchworm's eye. Out came the sun to dry up all the ink. And the itsy Itsy Bitsy Inchworm inched up with a wink. When you wink, you just wink with one eye. Good job. Well, boys and girls, I had so much fun with you today. Let's practice our any inchworm. Ready? Any inchworm letter I says it, it, it. Awesome job. We'll see you next time.